Hey guys, how's it all gone? Oh, I'm finally, finally out fishing. What a week. Uh, I'm in a new mark, as you probably know by the thumbnail. Uh, I'll show you about in a bit. Um, the weather, well, I was supposed to go up to 17 degrees. Uh, it's windy, but it's not a cold wind. I've got a wall right next to me. It's a shame the wind is coming from left to right, because if it was coming in the opposite direction, I wouldn't have any. Uh, it's currently 11 o'clock. Uh, high tide, uh, sorry, low tide is at half 12. Um, so I'm getting set up. I'm doing loads of different things today. I've got three rods with me, which I've never done on my channel. As far as I remember, anyway. Um, I'll show you about it a bit. I'm just getting set up. I've got the faithful Fladden, or the one up and one down. That's going to be going out. I've got some shallower water behind me. Again, like I said, I'll show you in a minute. I've got my travel carp rod. I've set up a, a float, float rig. So when that, when we, when we get to slack water, because that's coming through now at the minute, going out, I won't be able to hold the float there. Once it goes to slack, I'll put that out. Got a little rod rest for that, and I've also brought my spinning rod. We want bass today. Can we get one? First one of the year. Um, I got a new lure, which I'll show you. Um, lots of things to talk about, show you. Um, let me just chill out for a minute. I'm all set up the flare and I've just got a bait up. I've got lug and I've got squid. Uh, so I'll bring you back in a minute. So here's my little setup today. I'm in this little secluded corner. We got Wander there. Keep an eye out for somebody who might disturb us. So we're still on the river, yeah? I'm not going to say exactly where I am, but anyone local will know exactly where I am. Um, we've got this little shallow shoreline bit here where I'll do a bit of spinning. Maybe get the float to sit there. Come out. Just had to bend my hook round there. I was almost straight out. I must have been when I uh, I snagged the other day, and as I pulled out, I straightened the hook out a bit. Um. So I'm starting off with just some strips of squid um, on the one up, one down. Um, and then we'll proceed on some lug in a bit. I just want to get some bait out there, get going. Now, my lug is not the best in the world, and it's my fault. I bought it yesterday, and uh, what I meant to do Um, what I meant to do was take a bottle of water with me I'll tell you in a minute <clears throat> um, 
take a bottle of water with me and get some sea water from Hardy Slip because I keep seeing these videos uh, where people put a little bit in a tub with the lug and put them in the fridge and they stay good for a week or two or a week at least um, but I forgot to take a bottle of course so what I did was when I got the lug home I put a little bit of tap water in and some salt thinking hey let's see what uh, put the lug in and uh, left them with a night in the fridge they don't look very happy in fact they're pretty much done So, don't do what I did. Uh, there's a couple of salvageable ones in there, but not much. Um, so, but we've got plenty of squid. Uh, so I'll get this cast out, get us fishing. The sun's coming out, it's starting to warm up, that's nice. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll come, I'll cast out, but what am I talking about? Get on with it. I'll cast out, and then I'll talk about this new lure. Okay, it's actually held pretty well, it's held in front of me. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put you if I get a bite. I'll put you behind me, I guess. Um, so I've got my little Daiwa D-Shock spinning rod. That I caught a lovely bass on last year spinning. Um, I've got these lovely new lures. Um, I've got two of them in a pack. It's called Sandy Andy from Western Scandinavia. Now they weren't they weren't cheap. In fact, they were eight quid. So you get two, but only one of them's got the hook weight in, the other one's spare one, in case you, you get chewed up. Um, but, I tell you what, I've seen them advertised on YouTube. If you see them, they test them in this big long tank, and they come through the water absolutely gorgeous. The little tail at the end just goes, it looks brilliant. Um, so I'm going to give that a try sort of out towards the shallows uh, and then I've got my float rod which hopefully I'll stick one of these manky bug worms on um, I have that out here somewhere as well as well as having this one out as a sleeper if you like um, I'm just settling in for now just put this out there and uh, yeah we'll see how we get on how you doing anyway how's everyone doing um i've been dying to get right i'll tell you let me get into what why i'm here uh last weekend it was a lovely sunny day like this and i just went out for a wander on wander and uh looking for new new marks really and I knew about this spot. A mate of mine was telling me about it when I first started sea fishing last year. And he had some lovely bass out of here. But back then I had a car 
Now you can't get to this spot by car. You have to park way back and then walk up. And I couldn't find it last year, but I found it on Wanda. And as you can see, I get to it on Wanda. Bit, a little bit of cross country, which was a bit iffy, but she made it. Um, I ain't told anyone I'm coming here. I ain't told anyone I'm fishing today. I bought a day on my own today. Uh, ever since I found this mark last week, I've been wanting to fish it. We've had rain all week. First clear day we had was yesterday. Of course, I had the gas man round yesterday to uh, inspect the boiler. No given time. So I had to stay in all day for him. So I couldn't get out yesterday, but so I was just, oh, bugging me. But I'm out today. Tomorrow I'm gonna be on the pier. And next Saturday is, I can't believe it's come around again already. It's Tight Lines, Car Mines Meetup. Um, so yeah. The weather's supposed to be good for a few days now, so I might get some videos in the bank. Uh, good thing about this spot, you know, nobody knows you're here. Unless they can see you across the river. There's no traffic, other than boat traffic. It's lovely. So yeah, I'm full of happiness. So I'm gonna have a drink and uh, just get settled in. And I'll bring you back in a bit. Oh, this has been out a while, guys. Let's take the bait. Filthy stripped, a little bit of weed. Um, I'm going to put squid on the bottom and try one of these squidgy lugs on the top. Get a back out. <clears throat> I am loving this spot. Tell you the other good thing about this, I'm not up high from the water. 
I mean, this is low water right now. Well, it's not, but in three quarters an hour, it will be at low. And you're talking about four or five feet from me to the water. So if I do catch a fish, I ain't got to try and lunge up over that big key wall or up the pier. It's awesome. It's enough room to get a couple of people on here. There's a little sloopy area over there as well. Um, but yeah, I like it. Definitely coming here again, whether I catch or not. Um, I might make up like a squid and lug wrap. Try that on the bottom hook. I say once the tide stops, we get that slack water and then it starts to go out. I'll start float fishing. Because if it takes it that way, it's fine. I can still see it, right? If it's bringing it towards me, I ain't going to see it. Um, but yeah. It's just good to be out again. Stuck indoors for a week. Oh my God, I'm going insane. To the point where I splashed out and treat myself to Netflix. Actually, I'm glad I did that. So I started watching this series called The Last Kingdom, and I'm hooked on it. Um, it's way back when, you know, when the Danes invaded England and all that. All they do is fight, eat, and, in their words, hump. <laughs> That's all they talk about is humping. I ain't heard that word since I was at school. <laughs> as soon as the first bloke said it, I nearly fell off the chair. But it's an awesome series. You should check it out if you've got it. Uh, Utrecht, he's the main character. Um, it's just cool, I like it. So many people in it as well from different movies I've seen. Um, but yeah. I woke up the other day, right? So, because I've spent a week in the flat, I've been doing different things in the flat, cleaning up, whatever. I woke up the other morning, and my right thigh was painful and aching, like, really bad. Like somebody had just hit it with a baseball bat. I thought, what is going on with my body? I've only been sleeping. And I was limping, I couldn't walk. That's without my mobility problems. Um... And then Nikki came round, and I was telling her about it. She said, well, what did you do yesterday? I said, well, I cleaned the bathroom, and that's what it was. I cleaned the bathroom, but I did, like, the walls, the bath, toilet, everything, right? As I'm leaning over the bath, I thought about it. All my weight is on my right thigh, and I, I'm awkward at the minute anyway because of all my problems. So that's all it was. I cleaned the bathroom. Nikki said, I'll start coming clean. I said, you won't. Have my sister cleaning my toilet. She said, well, your toilet is clean. You're obsessed with bleaching. I said, no, well, you still didn't have my sister clean it. So yeah, my body is just falling apart. When I get up off the chair and go anywhere, it sounds like a transformer. The time I get to the toilet, I am Optimus Prime. It's a lovely day today. There's that little bit of a breeze, but it's not cold. The sun is out. Ooh. I was up mega early this morning, I was so excited about going fishing. Um, massive thank you, got some thank yous. All the awesome comments I got on that little quick video I put up, the last video. Uh, thank you very much. Um, took me ages to read through them. Much appreciated. Loving the little community we've got going. Uh, the Brett's Fish and Diary Army. <laughs> I love it. 
before I forget, a couple of weeks ago when I was on the pier, a subscriber from up north somewhere, I can't remember where, gave me a little donation for bait. And his name was Bob Smith. Uh, so thank you to Bob and your good wife. I think it was actually her request. Thank you both. And I also got another donation from Mr. Hamer, who told me to get some bait and some more ham from the sandwiches. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I have indeed got ham sandwiches today. Um, so I'm going to give this another 10 minutes or so. Uh, it was stripped the last time. So I'm guessing we got crabs. There's a little bit of weed on there, but it might just be a bit of parson weed. It came off easy, it weren't that horrible stuff that sticks to it. It was that leafy kind. So, and I'll bring you back. Tell you the other thing about my body I don't understand is why I'm losing hair here and gaining it through my nose. What's that all about? I've got air growing at quite a rate. I mean, uh, what, why? What, what's that going to do? What, how does that help me? Does it stop my bugle freezing in the winter? I don't get it. <laughs> do you know what that reminds me of? My dad, bless him. He used to have... <laughs> He used, to, <laughs> he used to have a load of hair coming out of his ears, <laughs> right? And he went to this place, I ain't be able to tell it as funny as he did at the time. <laughs> but uh, he went to this like, I don't know, like, a Chinese boutique thing. Who said they can get rid of it. He said they got, he said it looked like, like cotton wool, but they'd soaked it in something. <laughs> He put it in his ears and lit it. <laughs> Boom! He said, this fire came out of my ear hole. He said, it did it. He said, but they just, they exploded my ears. <laughs> he said, they were going to do my nose as well. He said, that's where I fucked up at the shop. <laughs> Bless him. Crack me up, I do miss him. So there you go. If you want to get rid of your ear hair, go get it set alight. Right, so we've got squid and lug wrapped on the bottom and I just wrapped up a full squid uh, on the top. There's a guy here crabbing with his kids, family. Says he can see loads of white bait by the wall. So I might just cast the old lure along this wall, bring it back, um, see if we can't get some.
a couple of little tugs. I'm going to reel in and check the bait. Crabs, little bastards. Well, nothing. I had a couple of boys, but that was obviously crabs. Um, so I've rebaited, got it back out. Uh, it's one o'clock. So low tide was 20 minutes ago. But that is still whipping through. Um, so I still can't get the float out yet. Although these lug, I've had them. So I think uh, it's going to be squid if I get if I do get the float out at all. I've got two guys now fishing on that sloop over there. So that's the piece gone. They'll probably catch within the first 10 minutes. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll still, still do a bit of spinning every now and then. See if I can get one on the lure. Wind is still whipping through as well. Not cold, but you know, don't, don't, I, there's no way I'll be out of float fish. Uh, can't believe how strong this tide is still going out. Although it should be on slack now. Put that in. I think they must have got the tide time wrong. I didn't, that's what it said on the app. But there you go. Uh, I'll bring you back if anything happened. Alright, so here's my floats up, guys. Nice float way at the bottom. Bit of a foot snood, some manky lug on the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to plop it in and see what it does. I think it's still going to pull to the right but let's give it a try. Screaming to the right. Uh, if I leave it there, it's just going to get pulled to the wall and then probably tangle. The setup, I'll leave that until the tide starts coming in and then we'll give that a go. Still no bites on the other rod. I 
it's not peaceful anymore. Oh. Massive family here, crabbing, kids everywhere. A couple of guys over there, but they ain't, no worry. Unless they catch a fish, then I'll be pissed. But the weather's lovely. Um, but other than crabs, I've had not, not a single bite. It's now half one. Yeah. Um, maybe when the tide does finally turn, we'll start seeing something. But lost my lure. Can you believe that? Brand new bloody lure. I was bringing it in down this wall, got caught on something, snapped. Happy about that. So when I came here with full positivity, silence, dreams of a bass, I've lost my lure, the silence is gone, the kids are screaming, and I've had no bites. And the tide's not doing what it should be. But other than that, spot on. I'm going to give it another good two hours at least, coming back, if indeed it does come back. Um, let's see how we go. Positive thinking. Oh, I've got to stay there coming in a little bit but I'll start going back out soon
turning into a bit of a nightmare day. I'm catching everything. I just caught my tripod on the other tripod. I got snagged on the bottom. The one up, one down is now just a one down. Snagged on my lure. I lost that. Got my uh, float lodged into a bit of wood on the side of the wall over here. Just managed to get that back. On top of that, I had a fish. Or even a bite. So I've just put a full squid wrap on that bottom hook. It's now coming up to three o'clock. So I've been here, what? Four hours? Uh, without a bite. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit pants. I still like the mark, and I'll still come again. Float, uh, that's still been, it must be the wind and everything, it's just still going to the right, can't use it. So I think I'm going to save that rig, I'm going to use that at Hardy's. And fish, fish with the float close in near the weeds. I'm going to pack that away in a minute because I can't use it. Um, so yeah. Doesn't look like there's going to be a fish today. But hey, I'm still fairly chilled, even with all my problems that have happened today. Uh, still a lovely day. It's supposed to be like this tomorrow. I'm going on the pier, a couple of friends. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll leave this out for 10, 15 minutes and I'll bring you back. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to call it, guys. It's now quarter past four. I ain't had a single bite. Um, shame. I had, ho I had high hopes for today in this spot. And I bet there's going to be loads of people that have fished here. Going to go, you should have done this, you should have done that, you should have gone over there, and you should have bought bass from the shop and put it on the end of the hook. <laughs> uh, but I have enjoyed it. It's a different mark. Um, and I'll certainly come back again. Uh, but um, I've just I've cast out twice now since I spoke to you. Well, at least that. Coming back stripped every time. Um, so I think I'm going to cut my losses and uh, look forward to tomorrow's session on the pit. I'm bound to get a doggy or something, or a waiting. Shame really, I'd like to say, I haven't been indoors all week. I thought I was going to get a fish today. Today was the day for a bass, but nope. I'm holding out for a bigger one. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight Lines, Car Minds, and I'll see you and on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.